I'm not one for making generally emotionally charged videos. But this right here is the single most important movie ever made. The Sound of Freedom. Me and my roommates just went and watched it last night. I was going to make the video then, but it was it was too emotionally intense for me, so I had to take a minute to uh to relax. I'm feeling much better now, but oh man, that movie that movie hits like a truck. Um, if you do go to watch it, I which I very heavily recommend you do. I would also recommend you take at least one or two people with you. With that said, I do think everybody who is physically and mentally able should go watch this movie. Um, again, this is, like I said, the most important movie ever made and the greatest movie ever made. The movie is about 2 hours and 15 minutes long. That's just me spitballing um, somewhere around that ballpark, give or take a few minutes. Um, for those who don't know, the movie is about child sex trafficking, about stopping it, about trying to take down the pedophiles and save the children. And um, you have your main character, Tim Ballard. He uh, he starts off as just your you know your average. Um, I don't know what it's called. I think it was uh, Homeland Security, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I think that's what he was. Um, yeah, he was part of Homeland Security, and he was sanctioned to go help out. Um, with one specific situation to take down a pedophile. Um, and he was able to save a boy from that situation. Which I believe is shown in the trailer, so don't worry about spoilers. However, the boy's sister is still under wraps. And he need, er, for the sake of the, the boy's father and the boy himself, he wants to go save the girl to give them some sense of, uh, some sense of mental freedom, I guess, is the uh, best way to put it. And so, uh, the girl is out of the states, so he has no way to get to her. It's his uh, his little mission isn't sanctioned by the U.S., so he has to go rogue. He has to go off the charts, quit his job, you know go out and do that because he can't use the help of the US and technically it is illegal for him to go and do so but you know who gives a shit about that he's gonna go and do it anyways and the movie um, it is while it is definitely like part action movie greatly so um, it's also an incredibly emotional movie Everybody in the theater was like bawling their eyes out, uh, myself and roommates included. It was intense, um, and it just makes you realize like how fucked up some things are. Especially since they tried, Hollywood had tried to get the movie like barred and blacklisted, and tried to make sure it wouldn't ever see the light of day, which they mention um, in the credits of the movie. Like that, that's the information they give you. And for five years, the, the movie had, has already been finished being made. It took them five years to be able to get it out and show it because of all the roadblocks from these sick people that just did not want it to ever see anything. So that's probably the best synopsis I can give you uh, without spoiling it for you, and I don't want to. I think everybody should go see the movie. And I actually have a little link that I'm going to put in the comments. The link is going to take you to a website that will allow you to buy tickets for other people. Um, I believe you're able to buy upwards to 100 tickets at a time. They're $15 each, so um, they're not like super cheap or anything. But I would encourage, if you are capable, and like if you're financially um, well enough that you can, I would ask that you buy people tickets and uh, personally I'm I'm not financially well enough but I figured I'd get the word out just so I can uh, you know get people to go see this movie um, that's about it see ya